Welcome to this next lesson in optics, optical instruments, and also now calculation involved in astronomical telescope. The first example says that find the separation of the eyepiece and objective of an, an astronomical telescope of magnifying power 20.0 in normal adjustment if the eyepiece has a focal length of 5 centimeters. Apparently, we know that the telescope is working in normal adjustment, and the, we have seen that when a telescope is in normal adjustment, the final image is at infinity. So if the final image is at infinity, we already have a formula here that magnification is equal to F0 over Fe. F0 is focal length of the objective lens, then F is focal length of the eyepiece. Therefore, uh, again, according to the diagram that we see, the first lens here is the objective lens and the second lens is the eyepiece lens which is near to the eye so if the eye sees an image at infinity meaning that it's very far from the eyepiece then we can see that again since we know that telescopes are used to produce images of distant objects so the object is at infinity object is at infinity therefore the eyepiece to form the image at at infinity it means that the first image or the intermediate image must be formed at the focal point of the eyepiece and if again rays are coming from infinity and fall on the objective lens therefore the image of the objective must be formed at the eyepiece so this means that the focal point of the objective lens and eyepiece coincide so that again means that the length of this instrument is going to be F0 plus Fe. If we know magnification as 20, according to the question, magnification is 20, and we know that magnification is F0 over Fe, it means that we shall have 20 equals to F0, which we don't know, over Fe, which is given as 5 centimeters, and this implies that F0 is going to be 100 centimeters. Focal length of the objective is going to be 100 centimeters. And if we substitute from the length, we want to find, find the separation between the lenses. Separation between the lenses is the length of the telescope. So the length is going to be the focal length of the objective, which is 100 plus the focal length of the eyepiece which is 5 and this gives you 105 centimeters. The next example reads an objective and eyepiece of an astronomical telescope have focal length of 75.0 cm and 2.5 cm respectively. Find the separation between the lenses if the final image is formed 25 centimeters from the eyepiece. The answer is 77.27 centimeters. Let's see the theory of this telescope. For this telescope, rays come from infinity, and for any lens, if rays come from infinity, the image is supposed to be formed at the focal point of that lens. So that's FO, intermediate image, which becomes the object for the eyepiece, is formed at the focal point of the objective lens so which means that since this is going to be the object for this lens so that's going to be d of the object for the eyepiece and we know that d of the image for the eyepiece is negative two five centimeters so if we use one over f objective one over fe focal length of the eyepiece one over fe equals to one over d object eyepiece plus 1 over d image eyepiece we shall get 1 out of 2.5 2.5 is the focal length of the eyepiece equal to 1 over doe plus 1 over negative 25 if you use your calculator very well doe is going to be positive 2.27 2.27 centimeters but now if we come back to the diagram we have seen that 
the distance from the objective lens to the intermediate image is supposed to be f objective then the remaining distance is supposed to be doe as we saw so since the question wants the separation between the lenses separation is going to be f objective plus doe which is going to be f objective is given in the question as 75.0 plus 2.27 this gives us 77.27 centimeters as the separation between the lenses the next example in telescopes says a physicist lost in mountains tries to make a telescope using lenses from reading glasses they have powers of positive 2.0 d and positive 4.5 d respectively part a of the question says what maximum magnification telescope is possible our answer is this we know that the magnification is negative f naught over fe but uh, we have to recall that power of a lens is one over focal length so which means that if this was power for the objective would be one over the focal length of the objective lens so magnification now is going to be one negative one over the power of objective over one over the power of the eyepiece this gives you negative power of the eyepiece over power of the objective lens so we are given focal length we are given powers not focal length so we would use this formula we would use this and since the question is saying what maximum magnification telescope is possible and the formula is just negative pe over po it means that we are just going to know which one goes up so this will be negative if we put positive 4.5 over positive 2.0 this is going to give us a negative 2.25 as the power as the magnification so meaning that if our eyepiece is the one which has a power of 4.5 and our objective is the one which has a power of 2 that means our magnification is going to be this if we interchange and we put 2.0 up and 4.5 down then the magnification is going to be less than 1 which means it's going to be zero point something so it's going to be less yet the question is saying what maximum magnification is possible so meaning that the max maximum magnification is going to be 2.25 and part b of the question which lens should be the eyepiece and why we have seen the answer already in part b here which lens should be the eyepiece and why so the lens which ha which should be the eyepiece should be the eyepiece should be the one which has positive 4.5 d why because when the 4.5 d is the is made the eyepiece it will give us a maximum magnification in the previous examples that i have done we have seen wonderful calculations involved in telescopes we have seen some which involve a telescope an astronomical telescope in normal adjustment when the final image is formed at the uh, at infinity and the eye is relaxed and we have seen the astronomical telescope where the final image is formed at the near point so we now go to your exercise i've given you question two questions there's a question here these are the answers please try it out discuss with your friends share ideas and there's also question two here somehow different from the questions that are done in the previous examples I try it out with your friends give me feedback in case you get trouble contact me please